Well guys, that's right. It's exciting times here at TUE. We've gone for the Dynatrack Pro Rock 44 axle upgrade. So why do we go with the Dynatrack axle? Well, I was pretty confident that we weren't going to get through this trip with the stock Dyna 30. I think that was pretty clear. Dynatrack have an excellent name in building axles for Jeeps. We went and saw Stu at Murchison Products in Brisbane. He had the Dynatrack axle on the shelf. Took him a few days to get the other little bits and pieces. By the end of the week, we were ready to go. Car was in the shop for a day and a half, and we got the job done, and we're pretty happy with it. So let's talk about the Dana 30 for a minute. What are the shortcomings in my personal experience? I wouldn't say the Dana 30 is a bad axle. It's quite a good axle, actually. It's just not built for what I do with this vehicle. Now, if you're the type of person who takes your Jeep Wrangler up into the forest once a month or onto the beach every now and then, chances are the Dana 30 is going to be absolutely perfectly fine for you. But if you're like me and you put on bigger tyres, even 33s, you go do a bit of heavier four-wheel driving, then you're going to start to run into problems with the Dana 30. Now, I'm going to talk about my experience with the Dana 30. So, I have found that there are three major shortcomings with this axle. The first major shortcoming is the size of the ring and pinion set. They're not up to the types of loads that I put on it. Um, broken, this is the third time I've broken the ring and pinion set, so really not, not up to it in, in that capacity. The next major issue that I've had with the axle is bending it. So I've bent it once in this plane, and I've also actually bent it once, had the driver's, uh, the passenger side wheel come back about 50 millimeters overall. So the third issue that I've had um, numerous problems with actually is the bracketry, the bolt-on bracketry that I've added for the lift. So that's the track bar bracket. Um, it's not uncommon for, parts to break um, or the bolts to come loose or rotate around a bit uh, it's it's a constant battle just to keep those things tight now there are probably two other major issues that people talk about with this axle but i have not personally experienced it for a couple of reasons first of all is these sea gussets or the sea the sea engine end forgings it's very thin uh, in the factory form i added these um, brackets, additional brackets, they're just a kit that you can buy, they're probably about $60 to weld in here to strengthen those brackets. So for me, that probably saved me having any drama with the C forgings. The second uh, issue that I haven't experienced that other people have is just the size of the axles. So the Dana 44 gives a much bigger axle and a universal joint assembly here. The ears are much bigger and much stronger. All right, so let's talk about how the Dynatrack Pro Rock 44 addresses these shortcomings. First of all, it's got a much bigger ring and pinion set. You'll also notice that there is a much larger axle tube with much thicker walls. The next major improvement you'll notice is that the track bar bracket and the sway bar link bracket are actually welded here to the axle. So no more coming loose, no more bending around, and they're also made of thicker steel. The Pro Rock 44 also has significantly heavier C forgings. We've also opted to go with the G2 Gold Series axles and an ARB air locker.